Hi Delphi community. Um, I just had a little Facebook messenger chat with a um, acquaintance friend of Keegan um, Klein's. Um, he was having a discussion with another friend of his that was a friend of Keegan's that Keegan had turned in to the police. So this guy got like turned in by Keegan. And um, I'm going to put these out. I'm going to take the names out and stuff and um, read these to you guys and let you, and see what you guys think. Um, and this first part video, I'm going to um, read the screenshots, screenshots out loud. Um, I know some people um, have a hard time following some of these screenshots on the screen and trying to read it all. So I'm just going to read them um, and let's go for it. Okay. So, this guy says, exactly, his dad is perfect fit. And the other guy goes, I know. And look who's dropped off the grid ever since. Yup. Forget his dad's name. Was it Anthony? Tony. Yup. I knew that was it. Worked at Chrysler, just like originally thought and all. Yup. Yeah, I think it was his dad. Have thought that for a while. I thought even his dad had a Facebook, am I right? He did, but now it's a no face, no pics account. I found his account. He dropped off, but he did it smart, not too quickly all at once. Um, so then the other guy sends him like screenshots of Tony Klein's Facebook page. And then um, it continues. Yeah, his dad fits it to a T. Oh, wow. See, it wouldn't let me or other people find it. But yeah, dude, like for real, so much like the camera pic they caught. How long have you thought this? Bro, honestly, is it just me or does that pic look photoshopped? Uh, and I'm willing to bet anything that they are already looking at his dumb ass. Um, I've thought ever since the detective and I talked and after we were done, I just started putting it together. Yeah, it does, because they both seem to go to Vegas literally, literally days after this happened. And yes, they absolutely are. They questioned me for two hours about everything between Keegan and his dad. Like recently, I know for a fact they have known a lot more than what they were saying they knew. They knew. Um, I was his friend at one point and Keegan used my name and another buddy's to try and say we could have put that stuff in his phone and that's because we are the only two people to have seen him in years and I've only seen him one time in over two years and it was like four or five years before that. Wow. They don't know so much is what I'm basically doing and putting all this information together and see where it ends up. They have nothing on his dad and they have nothing and I can't see it because it has the arrow thingy in front of it. Something Keegan, but I'm going to put these out so you guys can see too. And the murders. I know they are trying to press them. I think they were, I think they both were in on it somehow. They have the killer's DNA. They have Keegan's DNA. I know. I'm sure they will get Tony's as well very soon. That's immediately proof he didn't do it. Yep. I think he will eventually roll on old pop sooner than later. But yes, I believe 100% they both did it together. His dad would help sell Keegan's lies on social media by commenting on his post, acting like he was gone, and he was sitting right um, next to the bastard at his house. I know his ex left him because she found out some shit about him and other young kids. If he does that, if he does, that's the only way Keegan will get charged for the murders. His dad's a rat. He will tell right back on Keegan. What ex? Tony's. Would have been Keegan's stepmom at the time. Didn't know that, but not surprised at all. Yeah, even before that, never met his dad. So don't know if that's what he sounds like. Yeah, he was always weird when I would be around him. He was cool, but weird. 
I find it crazy that the cops have video and audio and still can't pin this man down. Um, they don't have shit. 45,000 DNA samples. Crazy shit. That means they're fucking stretching hard. Yep. Should have been solved years ago. They even took mine because someone crime stopper tipped I was the killer years ago and I never could figure out who I could ever have made so mad they could do that. Well, now it all makes sense. It was fucking Keegan. So fucking crazy. Oh, I'm sure it was. It is truly insane, bro. Like, I've been so caught off guard by all this. Shitty. You would think they could pin his phone's and see where they were on that day. I think he meant ping. Someone would someone would have to someone would have to off seen them if they were in Delphi that day. Keegan said he started a job in, on that day, laugh out loud. Well, I guess the towers there pinged Libby's phone in multiple places nonstop, so they couldn't do that. In Nevada? Yeah, see? They were right there sitting in Peru. Nevada, it's insane. They could end all speculation right now and get Tony's DNA. It would either match or not. He does not have to submit his DNA, and it's not easy to try and have a court approve someone to be forced to do that if he isn't a felon. True. Well, better be following his ass and getting his drinks or whatnot. Unless they get a warrant as well. But I can tell you this. If they have the killer's DNA and they use a child of the killer's DNA, it would have still hit. Unless he wasn't Keegan's real dad. You know how some women are. It may be far-fetched, but you never know. I just read about that and it's... I just read about that and it's lead to a lot of killers finally being caught because their kids get in trouble, hit on the DNA, and discovered it was actually their parents and never thought about that. But that could easily be true, and his mom is totally like that. I mean, he's speaking on her character, too, I guess. <coughs> the police have to be looking at all that shit. I have a feeling it will be solved by year's end somehow. And they have known about this fake profile for a long time why come out with it now because it's the same account Keegan got caught with using for the CP yeah but why bring it up now I have a feeling it's to put heat on Tony so crazy I listened to the interview he was literally talking about you the whole time he's a piece of shit who was Keegan Oh, wow. Hadn't heard it. What was he saying? Yeah, he was saying the only person that was around his phone was his friend, which put two and two together and knew he was talking about you. It was funny because the cops weren't buying it. Oh, no, he did that. Oh, oh, no, he did that to all his friends, laughing my ass off. It's crazy. Me, our friends blank and blank I mean he threw anyone he could out like a little bitch his dad is looking more and more suspect as the time goes of course the cops weren't they know I didn't have anything to do with that and I hope his worthless ass rots I told them that to their faces that fucker had access to all his phones he's a piece of shit He's just pissed because I pieced it together. Fuck them. Hell's going to have a special place for them, brother. I truly believe they both know what happened. I hope they suffer for eternity. Oh, they do. And I know his dad's been creeping my Facebook profile because now all of a sudden he pops up on my people you may know. <laughs> that's insane. Sorry, that's just me laughing because like it's smart that they know that, but. They will, bro, and I won't let things um, like that for unpunished either in this life or the next. Listening to the interview, man, his dad has to be involved. He looks like the bridge guy picking everything. 
I don't even want to listen. I've moved on and I know I'm a good guy with a great daughter. My life's a great, honest one. And that shit was eating at me. People even acting like I could be involved. Don't sweat that shit. The people that matter know you didn't do shit wrong. I know, man, it's just hard when I'm doing so good and I'm a daddy. Just made me feel so bad, man. I'm sure, man. This is on them two fucks. Makes me want to go face to face. With Keegan, though, tell him what a punk little bitch he is for ever doing any of this. Yeah, it's insane, but he's not worth an ounce of your energy, brother. You're right, brother, for sure. And I know that I've come to terms with it. You know, it just is, it just really sucks, man, that, you know. Keegan, you know, threw people under the bus and it just. It's more people that know these people that are saying, you know, yeah, he's creepy. Yeah, this and that, you know, so um, I hope this puts more pressure on Tony. Um, and stay tuned for my part two video and part two, I'm just going to put the receipts for people that would rather see them and whatnot. But I just wanted to read through it because I've seen a few comments on other videos where some people, you know, may not or maybe visually impaired and would rather hear um, them read aloud. So thank you guys and good night.